Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video I want to show you how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS back to iOS 5.1.1. As you can see I got here a 3GS because it's the Chrome font on the back and it's running iOS 5.1.1. So if we quickly jump into settings we can see that it is legitimately on iOS 5.1.1. So this downgrade of course is untethered and requires only the snow breeze um, so this thing will be jailbroken and it's exactly the same process like the downgrade for 3.1.3 the only thing that's different is the firmware so the device needs to be an old bootron it needs to be snow breeze 2.9.4 uh, 2. yeah 2.9.4 and then you're gonna restore it in within iTunes. So to be able to downgrade, you need to be on the latest 6.1.6 .6 firmware. And if you aren't on this firmware, but you are an official Apple firmware that's older than 6.1.6, .6, I recommend you guys to fetch you SHSH blob. So if you don't know how to do these or how to fetch these, uh, just leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna show you how to do that soon I would say let's just update this guy and I see you when it's on 6.1.6 So I'm back and as you can see my 3GS is Updated to 6.1.6 .6. And now I just want to show you how to create the custom version of 5.1.1 so just like in the uh, iPhone 3GS 3.1.1 downgrade video go to the reddit thread so I got over here and download the 2.9.4 snow breeze version for the old boot ROM. it will not work with the 2.9.14 I don't know why but it gets an error message in iTunes so 2.9.6 Download it and my Wi-Fi is pretty slow because at this time I'm actually uploading the 3.1.3 downgrade. Now it's downloading Snow Breeze. This usually takes two to three minutes depending on your Wi-Fi speed. So see how when it's done. Yes, man. Yes, finally. In my 3.1.3 downgrade field, it takes one to two minutes, and right now, I guess it was half an hour right now. I don't know, I gotta check later. So, yes, finally. So, what you need to do now is once you've downloaded Snow Breeze 2.9.6, you click here and open it up. And so, this is not for commercial use, put it here a bit. So then click the arrow, okay sorry, click OK and click then the arrow, arrow. So if you don't have the 5.1 IPSW or the 5 iOS 5 version you want to go, you just simply click on IPSW downloader, select the device, so 3GS, select an iOS so you can choose 5.1.1 or 5.0.1. So I'll, so that's up to you which one you're going to do. So, for example, you choose 5.0.1, you click Start Download. After that, browse for an IPSW because I've already installed this. I have the 5.1. I don't have the... So, I only have for iPods, I think. Wait a second. So if I click on 5.1, yeah, it will not work. So I got to download the one, so I choose 3GS. So I got go on 5.0.1 and click start download. I will speed up this portion of the video and see you when it's done. So, yeah.
So now it's finished and it's asked if I would like to donate to Pot2G for the untether, but um, no. And so now that it's done, you're gonna click OK. Put the device in DFU mode because, yeah, so it's already in DFU mode because we've looked if it's old on your boot room. And yeah, so now just click start and this won't work and the device will reboot. So you gotta do, gotta exploit this thing again with iWeb separately. So may try, no, start and it will exploit it will reboot and when it's rebooted we're simply gonna put it in the FU mode again using IRAM. Oh shoot. So now that the device turned on we gotta click on 3GS in IRAB and wait for it. So now just like in snow breeze press and hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds after 10 seconds let go the power button but keep pressing the home button for as long as itunes will detect it let's detect it so now it will be exploited okay exit out now go on itunes Wait for it to be detected. So now iTunes has detected an iPhone recovery mode. So click OK, click Shift, and restore iPhone. Go on your desktop, 5.0.1, and open. So I'll speed up this portion of the video again, and I'll see you when it's done. Yeah, so now the phone has finished restoring and so it's now booting to 5.0.1 and as you can see it's the second part of the restore that is pretty fast so I'll see you when it's done and I need to set up this thing and show you that's legitimately on 5.0.1. So iTunes already has detected this thing, so okay. See. I unplug it and I connect it to my Wi-Fi. And after that I connect it or I set it up in front of you so that you can see so select set up English United States first focus so this is the first phone we are using iCloud so so now connecting okay, enable location services now I connect to Wi-Fi. So now that I'm connected to Wi-Fi, it asks if I want to restart, set up a new iPhone, restore from iCloud backup or from iTunes. So just as new one, skip the step for the Apple ID. And I agree with the terms and stuff. I don't send diagnostics and that's it. So start using iPhone. As you can see, jbroken. Jump into settings, general about, and here you can see 5.0.1. So as you know, the 3.1.3 is jbroken 2. So as you can see, there's Cydia here as well. So I'll show you how to do, 
how to remove Cydia in a future video. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any suggestions or so, please leave a comment or follow my social network. Drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And peace out.